the nature of these cases, um, they tend to build on one another. Got to reduce the demand, we also got to cut off that supply, and it starts at our borders. Illegal drugs seeping into the farthest edges of the Piedmont Triad. The problem growing with the increased delivery of opioids, fentanyl, cocaine, and meth. 90% of the illegal drugs are coming from the borders. It doesn't stay there. It transcends in a couple days. It's in our communities. Operation Busy Bee targeted Stokes County drug dealers operating on a medium and high level status, like owning stash houses or moving large quantities of drugs across state lines. None of our methamphetamine uh, arrests were um, tied to the uh, uh, manufacturing of methamphetamine, so um, it's coming from elsewhere. If someone's moving fentanyl and heroin in your community or methamphetamines, it's coming from the cartel. Captain J.L. Coots is with the Forsyth County Drug Task Force. The team is focused on putting away the dealers while preventing what is called the Hydra effect. Other people coming in and taking over when that dealer's in jail. So working to identify those below him, the person that's going to come up and take his place when that person is incarcerated. So it's just keeping track of what's going on and knowing your people and passing around information as needed. The Piedmont Triad has become a hub for drug trafficking with interstate stretching from Florida to Canada and across the county to Los Angeles. Our local agents can't be in every neighborhood and every town all at once, which is why we're expecting to see more joint operations in the months and years to come. The more you get into the narcotics field, the more of the shock value you see of the effect narcotics have on our community.